Hi to every my dear students from Atul Bode sir. I welcome you in the class 10th and in the science and technology part 2. We are today discussing the introduction in the topic heredity and evolution. My dear students that in the 9th and the 8th standard you have studied about the cell. As our home having the walls and the walls made up of the bricks, our book made up of many pages and each page is made up of many paragraphs. A paragraph is made up of many sentences and a sentence is made up of many words. And so the many words they are made up of the letters. As like that, our body is also made up of the small, very tiny units and they are called as the cell. We have defined the cell as the basic structural and functional unit of the living things. And dear students, you know that what are the different cell organelles in the cell. There is an important cell organelle nucleus and a nucleus is made up of nucleolus nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm and in the nucleoplasm there are the many threads. These threads are nothing but the chromatin fibers and they are made up of DNA. Whenever any cell is participating in the cell division, these DNA condenses, combines and form the chromosomes. A human cell consists of 23 pairs of the chromosomes. And the students, this DNA is a very important part of the study of heredity. Definitely the question may arise in your mind, how we are as like our parents. Our body structure, our characteristics, they are similar to our parents. Aple sabre guna dharma aple apalakan sarkhyastat. How this? And this is nothing but the main cause is behind the DNA that we obtain from our parents. In 1886, when there is a not much discovery of the, this nucleus of the cell, at that time, the Gregor Johann Mendel was the famous scientist that can explain this, that the pea plants, how the characteristic are transferred to the next generation. And dear students, he known as the pioneer of the genetics. After that in 1901, there was a scientist Hugo de Ries, who told that how the mutation occurs and how some characteristics in us are different than our parents. That is a mutational theory. In 1902, the two scientists Walter and Sidon that gives the concept of the chromosome. They first of all told us that the chromosomes are present in always in pairs. In the grasshopper they studied this concept. Then in 1944 the trio of scientists the Oswald Avery, McLean McCarthy and Colin MacLeod. They told that DNA is the genetic material Actually, that transfer the information from parent to the offspring. And, dear students, then the scientist in 1961, the two scientists, that is Francois Jacob and Jack Monad, these two scientists explain the concept of protein synthesis because the DNA how work that is explained with the help of this concept protein synthesis. Our body structure how form the behind it protein synthesis. How body our daily work, how the functions of the body takes place in the day to day life that behind that there is a concept or process protein synthesis. And that is explained by the two scientists that is Francois Jacob and Jack Monat. 
in this topic we are going to discuss that process the protein synthesis but before that we should have to revise the concept that we have studied in the 8th standard and 9th standard that is the structure of the dna dear students what is the structure of dna you know that the dna means the full form of dna is deoxyribose or deoxyribose nucleic acid the deoxyribose nucleic acid it is actually the polymer of nucleotide and the scientist measure first of all that successful to obtain this dna and the two scientists that is the the name of scientist is the james watson and francis crick they explain the structure of dna as the that double that helix or spiral this double helical or double helix structure is explained by these two scientists that is a what is the name of scientist the two scientists that is james watson and francis crick very simple diagram you should have to try of the dna and its structure see here this is a single strand you can try this strand like this this is a single strand and another strand is parallel to this strand you can draw the diagram you can try it also very simply this is a simple explanation and these two strands they are in this way connected to each other this is actually the schematic diagram of the dna but in the detail whenever we are discussing the structure of dna students dna is a polynucleotide and a single nucleotide of this is made up of the three structures the first is the ribose or it is called as deoxyribose sugar second that is the phosphate phosphate molecule or phosphate ion and third is the nitrogen base these are the three parts that make the single nucleotide i am drawing the structure of nucleotide now see this is the here ribose deoxyribose sugar this is here the below phosphate ion and another third is the nitrogen base which is of four types that is the adenine guanine thymine and cytosine out of this out of this that the adenine guanine thymine cytosine see here that adenine means a guanine thymine cytosine and out of this there is only one here so this is single nucleotide and this nucleotide forms a single strand how they are arranged see here this is again another this is again another nucleotide suppose here is now g and here is again phosphate opposite to this or complementary nitrogen base to the a that is adenine is the thymine and this thymine is connected to this that the that ribose sugar which is now the deoxyribose sugar here it is the phosphate again now complementary to g is the c bonded by triple bond and a is bonded to t adenine to thymine by double bond and guanine to cytosine by triple bond and here again see now the structure here again deoxyribose sugar and here it is the phosphate this is continued this is continued that form the two strands and these two strands are parallel to each other this is called as double helical structure of the dna and this dna that is having the specific segment that store the information about protein synthesis is called as the gene there are about 30000 to 40000 genes and a single gene control the characteristic like our skin color it is one character color of our skin suppose we are having the that fiery light or brown color of the skin that is actually coming from our parents structure of our 
nose then our structure of our nails here arrangement many such characters they are actually controlled by the gene and so this is actually the structure of the dna dear students there is also the structure of rna that we have studied in the 9th standard RNA means ribose nucleic acid and it is single stranded and there are three types the mRNA R RNA and the T RNA and the structure of DNA and structure of RNA is a basic part in the introduction we should have to move towards the now the first point in the topic and that is the translation transcription translocation which are the three steps in the protein synthesis and that is the first point that we should have to study in the next that the period so thanks all of you for the listening this introduction of the topic thanks